Hey guys, it's Sarah from Just My Typewriter, and I got publicly called out by the Typewriter Database guy. So if you don't know, the Typewriter Database is this great online resource where you can look up the serial numbers from your typewriters and figure out what year they were made in, look at some other models from the same company. It's an incredibly, incredibly useful resource in the typewriter community. And I use it all the time. But what I don't do is add my typewriters to the database so that other people can see pictures of machines around the same years that theirs would be from. Help them identify what year it might be from, what model they might have. I've just never done it. And this was made very obvious to everyone when Ted commented on my one video about Redbubble products and he said that I should be adding my typewriters to the database. So here we are to do it today together. My current system for cataloging my machines is to find the serial number, go in the database, find out how old my machine is, and then I just have a collection of index cards and other scraps of paper where I write down <laughs> the machine make, model, name, serial number, year, an entire spread of the alphabet in both black and colored ribbon. This is how I catalog them, but it's not a very organized system. No, the colors don't mean anything specific. The orange ones used to be just electric machines, but then I ran out of white index cards. And so I decided today would be the day that I sign onto the typewriter database, upload some photos of some of my machines, and generally add to the typewriter community. So now that I have to upload them to the database, the first thing I had to do was pick the machines I was going to add into the typewriter database with the information I have. So I decided to pick these two machines specifically because when I started doing my research on these two machines, I couldn't find a lot of samples of other typewriters like these in the photo gallery section of the typewriter database, especially on this pacemaker. I think there was one other post of a pacemaker and it looked different than mine, so I didn't really know a ton of information about it. And with the golden touch over here, there were so many different variations of this front panel that weren't gold. I wasn't sure if mine was special, so I had trouble dating these two machines. I decided to upload these two specifically to the typewriter database to solve that problem for somebody else in the future. So I started by taking pictures of the front and back and sides of these machines. Then I also did a type sample. What's interesting about this machine over here, specifically the Golden Tab Deluxe Underwood something something portable is that the typeface is actually different than other typefaces in the Underwood line. I believe that they said this was a Stymie typeface, which is just slightly different than other typefaces, which makes it kind of interesting and unique and cool. And also the case is plaid. So I decided that these would be the two I would go with. I did the process of taking pictures and doing the type sample. The next stage is uploading them to the typewriter database, which I'm now going to do, and it's going to require some maneuvering. So here's the typewriter database. Ignore the fan sound from my computer. It was dropped by a toddler at one point. On the typewriter database, you can go in and search the serial number of your typewriter by looking at the brand and then scrolling through to see the models. You can also look at a gallery of typewriters to see where your typewriter visually might fit in. And that's what Ted's trying to get me to add to the typewriter database is to that photo gallery section. So I have to go in and make an account. So I'm gonna go up here to this little user face guy and I'm going to create an account. I think it's working. We'll find out. How do I add? This is too confusing for my brain. The reason it was confusing was because I didn't read the directions. Once you have your account made, which you have to start with a non-Gmail email address, you have to go in and request to be upgraded to typewriter hunter status. By clicking the link in the instructions, you're connected to one of Ted's blog posts where you have to comment with your username. You can then have your account upgraded and be officially adding your machines into the database. It took me hours to figure this out and only a day to be upgraded. So editor's note to future me, read the instructions. So it's the next day and I have been approved to be a typewriter hunter for the typewriter database. So I believe I can now add pictures to the typewriter gallery. Let's give it a shot, shall we? So I'm just gonna go in here to my account and sign in. Please sign in. Oh, here we go. Your typewriter galleries, new typewriter gallery, typewriter galleries you like. So I'm gonna go into my typewriter galleries. Let's go into new typewriter gallery. Let's try that one. Oh, 
here we go. All right, so new typewriter gallery. You own this typewriter. Yes, I own this typewriter. Select a brand. Let's go ahead and do this Smith Corona pacemaker first. So it is a Smith Corona typewriter model. Year of manufacture. So this is 1950. And I don't know the exact year, so I'm putting an X in for the year of 50. Serial number. This is where my index cards come in handy. Description or notes. What do I say about her? I mean, she's cool. Maybe let's do a main front facing photo. So I'm gonna go into my photos. I put them on my desktop. And let's use this one. This is the front of the typewriter. Create gallery. Are my pictures too big? Yeah, my pictures are too big. Okay, that's all right. We'll resize my photos. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, we did it. We created one. Yay! <laughs> I can also upload other photos, which is nice to know. So one thing it does tell you, once you go to the gallery photo section, it says make sure that your pictures are no larger than 1,000 pixels tall or wide. That was definitely my problem ahead of time. I was trying to use pictures that I'd taken in really high resolution that were big because who doesn't want to see a typewriter in high resolution? But it does have limitations on this website and you can't upload them that large. So that's good to know. Let's try another one. I already went and resized these photos, so hopefully that makes it easier. So let's add my Underwood to this. Okay, so I own this one. Now, I don't know what to call her. She's a deluxe, but she's golden touch. Okay, she doesn't look like, oh, there she is. So it's a deluxe. Okay, description has plaid case. I don't know what else to say about her. Okay, then we're gonna upload my typewriter front-facing photo. Not too shabby. So let's go to my typewriter galleries. And there they are. Oh, they're so cute. So in summary, do your homework on your machines and be prepared to enter them into the database. It's a bit time consuming, but it's an incredibly rewarding experience because now I can see Dame Maggie Smith in here alongside all of her brothers and sisters and she looks different. She's green. All of the other typewriters in this listing are that desert sand color. So now when someone goes in with a pacemaker that looks like mine, they might be able to find mine and get a better idea of what kind of machine they have. It's going to help the typosphere in general. If you're interested in more information about the typewriter database, check out their website. I have the link in the description below. I've also done a couple of other videos where I mention the typewriter database and their Redbubble store. I have a typewriter hunter t-shirt. It's in the wash, so I don't have it on currently. <laughs> if you're interested in more typewriter content, check out the other YouTube videos on this channel. And you can find me on Instagram at just.my.typewriter. Tell me about your typewriters that you'll be adding to the database. I wanna thank you so much for watching and remind you, you're just my type, writer.